And this episode of Hatcher Cocky is brought to you by our good friends over at Claru and Son Roofing. These guys are the kings of roofing, Tristan, like we say, the kings of roofing. These mm. guys last summer alone, over 25,000 bundles of shingles done. They're fully insured. They offer free estimates. The work they do is incredible, and they always get the job done right the first time. So be sure to hit up the boys over at Claru and Son Roofing because, like we always say, when you want your roof done, call Claru and Son, baby. Mm hmm. Go time. Woo! 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 Well, what is going on, everybody? The boys are back again. Episode number 151 of Hatcher Cocky, which is brought to you by our good friends over at GL Heritage, the official beer of Hatcher Cocky. If you like my shirt, supporting the Ravens tonight for my son ethan just smash the link on the post it'll bring you right into the merch store for you to collect all your sweet hth merch and here with my buddy tristan as always mm -hmm. before we get rolling gl heritage now has a seltzer by the way you know me i like the seltzers so mm -hmm. they have seltzers out they got raspberry peach they got fucking blueberry they got lemon blueberry Ooh. yes i haven't got a chance to try them but i hear that they are very good so i'm kind of jealous I can imagine of, that i haven't got to try them yet but so what's going on man nothing much uh enjoying life right now yeah we're school we're getting on placement which is nice getting out of the Sweet. classroom yeah well, out of the classroom. Out of one into but, another, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I, I love it. Just being able to work with the kids and uh, being able to speak into kids' lives is very, very valuable for me and mm -hmm. for them. So mm -hmm. uh, we had our, uh, it's called like a pinning ceremony. It's kind of like a convocation, but we're not like graduating yet. It's kind of like they're releasing us into the wild as teachers. Yeah. But uh, we, we get like a little pin and uh, they go through individually and there's like 600 people in our program. Mm -hmm. So like you go individually and you get to say one word in the mic. Uh, my word but surprisingly wasn't repeated, but uh, I chose potential uh, just to read into that a bit deeper. Mm -hmm. um, it's potential for me to be uh, it, potential for me to grow as an educator and be a better one to the kids and the potential for the kids to grow under my uh, tutorship. So mm -hmm. it's kind of a two way street there. And I like that. <laughs> you, know, you can give a little and take a little. So, <laughs> No, how about yourself? Well, well, you know how I got that brand new truck. Yep. So about a week ago at work, I'll, and I'll just say it, some asshole backed into me. Didn't uh, didn't leave me a note, didn't nothing, just left. Huge dent in the side of my truck. My buddy, freaking Kelly Beauchamp, absolute legend, brought says to me, come to my house. The thing we got lucky on is whoever this guy or whoever hit my truck, I hope you step on Legos. Anyways. <laughs> so anyways, he got it to where like it didn't crease. Like it was still pretty round. Like it was just pushed. So we got there, we got like heat on it. We heated it up and just pop. It popped right nice. out, dude. So you touch we, up the paint. Yeah. No, I didn't have to. We buffed everything out. He really everything out. so the guy must have been going pretty slow then but still like i was did you see the size of that dent it was he must like, have been real like not even realized it must have been like mm. yeah he like, might have not even realized he hit it if I he had know, a big man. pickup himself but still <laughs> oh yeah no that's a <laughs> so, loser move you hit someone we, else's car we got lucky we got it out but kelly yes great job kelly thank you absolute yes. legend kelly shout out and, I, i've never even met yeah. him so and he um just like cleans cars does all the like cleaning and shit does he play him, puck with detailing. you uh he used to yeah but i think okay. he's coming back soon he had some like injury stuff he was kind of working on but okay cool but man when this guy does his car work it is unreal so if anybody ever wants kelly's services inbox him I'll, I'll send you his stuff let's 73s let's address the elephant in the room coaching yeah change. so um I'm going to word this in the most respectful way possible. I, there's also a little something I want to touch on about online stuff, but we'll get into that in a moment. Mm -hmm. So the official statement, which was released, but we unfortunately had to take down because of the very, very negative response to it, which, mm -hmm. like I said, I'll elaborate on. 
But uh, the statement was there was a disagreement between Essex 73's management as a separation from the executive team. So management, which the executive team for the most part supports, obviously in instituting uh, Kevin Bugley as the assistant and Mike Paley as the head GM. They felt that there was a separation, uh, Mike especially, but management in general, a separation between the way that the coaching staff of Mark and Matt Rideout and Ryan Best wanted to go with the team and how Mike felt he wanted to go with the team. Personally, and I know this goes for you too, Ant, but I support Mike wholeheartedly as the general manager. He has never done this team wrong. And mm -hmm. this move included, I feel he has still done nothing wrong. Uh, I believe he has done the right move, and I support him all the more because of this. Mm -hmm. And going forward, I look forward to see what he does with the team, uh, who the new full-time head coach will be. Obviously, people are going to make comments, and um, I guess now it's time I'm going to elaborate on this. To all you keyboard warriors out there, just shut your traps, okay? <laughs> if you call yourself a, quote, fan of this team, and you write something like that, unfollow our page. Yeah. We don't need that. Mike doesn't need that. Like, this is the reality of this is, and I don't want to dumb it down, but this is a big organization. But at the same point, this is just junior C hockey, everybody. Don't get your knickers in a twist mm -hmm. because we fired. Yeah, we get it. It's going to look suspect. At the time, it was a 15 1 and 1 team. Like, obviously, something went awry yeah. to the point where Mike felt. This was the best move. Mm -hmm. And listen, Which ultimately it is. Yeah. You should look at that and say, mm -hmm. wow, if Mike Paley thinks this is the right move, it is the right move. Yeah. And listen, we're not shitting on like Mark and Matt and not at all. Mr. Baston. Like we, they're all, they're a great coaching staff. It's 100%. just, they just didn't agree on stuff. So, right. There's... They run their systems in a way yes. that, Mike felt wasn't correct for the 73s. But and ultimately here we sit. Right now it's uh Chad came back to help. Walters. Chad, Chad Walters came back with Danny Anger so far. And with, Mike with Mike as the, the HC right now. Yes. Okay. So Temporary. that's the squad for now. Tentative. For now. Uh I, I'd assume with the last two, I, I believe Essex's record is Oh, one and one in that time. So they lost obviously one mm -hmm. to Wheatley in mm -hmm. overtime and then Lakeshore recently yeah. seven to five with an empty netter. Uh, before we get into like all that stuff mm -hmm. though, with the games and everything before we kind of leave the whole like coaching stuff. Oh, I, I want to say to, to, to Mark, to Matt, mm -hmm. to is it's, it's Ryan best, right? I Is believe so. Said? Okay. Yeah. Like we want to wish you guys all the best of luck moving forward too. Like we don't want shitting on you guys. We know you guys are going to coach again. We know like I'm, I'm I just want to I just wanted to I just wanted to make sure that they know that like we're not shitting on them. So Not at all. And including uh I know the young fellow there Zachary uh mm -hmm. Mark's son. Mhm. Mm he, he was a part of the team too, doing film and stuff like that. Like, yeah. we're going to miss you guys, obviously. Like, it was a pleasure getting to know you all. Mm -hmm. uh, and we wish you well in your future endeavors. We know you're going to be successful, as you were with this team. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's unfortunate that it came to this point, but doesn't change the fact that you guys are good people and good coaches in your own sense. So, mm -hmm. best For of luck. Sure. For sure. Now, the past few games. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I got another couple comments on this one, but oh, are you talking about the overtime game? Oh, I'm Let's... talking about people online. Oh, okay. Go, go oh. You know, I thought it would be me doing this, but no. If they go online, it? they're like, "Oh, another loss. They're gonna keep." Okay, these are the top two freaking teams. I know. No one gets that. Like in the division, not to mention. Oh yeah, we only had a oh, what eight guys hurt hmm. in the first game, and then like three or four the second and we just had a coaching change there's going to be growing pains yeah i would rather do this now than later on in the season you know what i mean exactly and that's why it was addressed at this point 
before it grew to where there was uh, too much of a disconnect. For sure. Now we can come together as a team. You know what? A loss was healthy for them. You're not going to win every game. Mm-hmm. That's a reality. Like, oh, like this team? Yeah, sure. Do they have the potential to do that? Sure. But guess what? You got to learn some point. Do you... And like, listen, Mike hasn't told us anything. Mike hasn't nothing when it comes to the whole coaching situation. Do you nope, think yep. that? Do you think that we're actively seeking? And if you think we are, who? What? Do you, is there a couple guys out there that you think might be good for the job? I know. Ah, see. Now this is obviously personal opinion. Um, my number one choice before Mark was even signed. Which ultimately, I think he was, I mean, the pedigree was better of him being signed at first, but Chad Shepley Mm -hmm. was who I first wanted. Obviously, last year, LaSalle, uh, some of their staff left, and LaSalle jumped right on it that the assistant coach at the time running the D, Chad Shepley, would become their head coach. Mm -hmm. Very, very talented player in his own right. Uh, Played LaSalle, played Essex for one season as 16-year-old. Um, played the South for, I think, three seasons, wore a letter for them for two, and then he won an OUA championship with Windsor uh, Lancers. And he played under Mike. So he's done a few things. Terrific hockey mind. Taught me French in grade nine. Uh, just a great person. And you see his success, obviously, right now. LaSalle, I think they're first in their division. They're like yeah. second in the entire GOJHL. Yeah, so. For sure. The goge, as people like to call it. But I would say right now, my choice, I mean, people are going to say, oh, the Spitfire staff, they just got fired. Mm -hmm. For me, um, I would like to see a return of possibly, uh, obviously they're listed as retired at this point, but either Tony Mm Peroski or even Jill Longlois. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both of them have some pretty nasty seasons under their belt as the 73 set coaches. And they're mm-hmm. both still with us. It was both still with us. And both are great hockey minds. And imagine if they were even a duo behind the bench. Wouldn't that be great? Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, that would be for sure. Who I could kind of see is a guy like Andy Delmar that just resigned from Windsor. Reason being is. Him and Mike played together in Chatham. So there's already a little bit of an of a association there with the two. I'm not and listen, same thing. I'm just speculating as well. I'm just saying another thing could be um Jared Smith could be another possible candidate who I would love to see. I would love to see them come in as a team. I would too. Um I don't think Jared got a fair shake there in Windsor. No, like, Windsor's got a crap roster. Yeah, well, we're going to discuss that in a little bit too. But um what is but 12, those three, are 92 yeah, like those are those are two guys that I would like to see here, but Yeah. If we if it's not like those guys and then I don't know, Tony Prosky Prosky would be nice. Especially also, right now, so. What's Cam Crowder up to? Yeah, that's another possibility. I always say Warner. I always keep Warner in the mix just because God. you never you, you never know. Yeah, like his son's playing Vipers or no, uh, Maroons right now. Yeah, Chatham Maroons. So he's not in Junior C, so there's no kind of conflict, you know. No. So I, I like that. Um, I, His name is Sam, so good luck to you, Sam. Yes. I, I hope Sam, you actually, season. I think he's been doing fairly decent too. Uh, well, they just won like 9-3, I think, over yeah. the Sarnia Legionnaires. But... Ooh, baby. Um, okay, so that's such a weird league. Yeah. Everyone blasts everybody. Like, there's no low, like two one. It's always like, like I think they lost nine one mm-hmm. to LaSalle a couple weeks ago, mm-hmm. uh, Chatham, and now they're yeah. beating another team nine three. So it's yeah. like, what? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's who we kind of think on the coaching staff. Now back to the games there. Lost in overtime, which I'm I'll be honest with you, I will take a point in that game. That's a that's a good week. Missing all these the guys one. and Wheatley is who, deadly. Who scored the winner? Was that oh it's Braden Catano? Yeah, and it was beautiful a, left all oh. alone, backhand top shelf. Yeah, like right under the bar, like 
Yeah. I was I was glad it was a goal like that rather than like a muffin. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he walked right out front of the net and just went cheese. Yeah. <laughs> so like I, and, Adrian had already dropped down and it was wide open. Yeah, but beautiful shot. I will say that. So mm-hmm. good win there for those guys. Uh the Lakeshore game. We yeah, kind of figured it was the we got down early. We were up. Oh, no, actually, sorry, we were up to, and then it just seemed like they were just apart. Yeah, uh, those kind of came off. But... Not to blame it on like any one person or like any one part of the. Everyone obviously makes mistakes that leads to goals, but a lot of shots were going in that probably shouldn't have. Mm-hmm. And that's like the threes almost came back. Also, they got a couple goals that were the referee's discretion was no goal, but that puck crosses the goal line. Chances are, yeah, the, the goalie's one, not, yeah. And they claimed on the first goal that he, no that, goal, rather, that he was goalie had possession. Out. Listen, <laughs> I've got the film right on my phone, mm-hmm. it leaves the guy's stick. And enters the net in about 0.7 seconds. So the goalie can have possession in that time. Hey, more power to you. I guess we're blowing whistles when that touches his pad. But anyway. I thought he was saying something that he was shoved in, like pushed in. Because yeah, he, but went, he went like this when he was over. The puck was the going bench. in either way. It was no, like, I know. But did okay. Eh, I didn't really see the like video on it. I just thought it was a goal. So I was like, oh. Yeah. Any, anywho. Yeah. Um, that game, yeah. It was... We were coming back, but then goal would be scored. Goal would be scored. Mm-hmm. It, we, it was one step forward, two steps back. Mm-hmm. And ultimately, that led to us chasing the whole game, at least in the latter two periods. Mm-hmm. And uh, empty netter. Tried to pull the goalie. Had a couple chances. Shout out Jack Bulmer, who has been our, our best defenseman point-wise on the yeah. season. Yeah. Two goals in that game. Yeah, he did. Very, very sharp. Yeah, also, was nice, too. He shot it like right through a screen. It's beauty. Big clapper, yeah. yeah. Wound up. But uh, we got a new defenseman. We do. You can't right. miss him. I called this one the other day, too. You, you're like, oh, big new D-man. I knew, yeah. like, right away. I'm like, oh, Seth Martino. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, big Seth, um, he's what we need. 6'5", 250, lacrosse player. And he's got skills, too. Yeah. Like, he put up, like, say. 20 points with Leamington Junior B. I think he got an assist the other night. He did. He's point per game. <laughs> Unit. Yeah, he's a big boy. When he's I seen him giant. too, I was when I first seen him, when I first showed up before they were going out for like warm up or whatever, I seen him and I was just kind of like, hey, you know, when we said hi and talked mm-hmm. for a minute, but he yeah, he's a big boy. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he's the heaviest in our division. Very well could be. The only yeah. other guy I think would be up there is Tate Bowden. Yeah. And he's probably two thirty something, maybe Kyle Blow. 225 yeah. but yeah. like he's a big he's a big, big boy. boy so he's welcome a, man welcome. yeah no, <laughs> i i'm pumped i i'm actually very happy about that he's a left shot but he plays both mm-hmm. sides so mm-hmm. and hey boys uh anytime you guys want to start you know coming on the pod and uh shooting yeah, shit with he, us here about yeah. what's going on here like, yeah who's uh, there just shoot yeah. us a message i know i i'm sure bryce bellow would love to come on one of the young guys yeah oh i already uh, right. i'd like i'd like to sit down with him um mm-hmm. another one who i was talking to the other night is crack i was talking to crack the other night my cracker Connor? yeah because yeah. i told him like you fucker because i was doing the my normal warm-up thing the video Mm-hmm. right he goes by fist bumps me knocks my phone out of my hand i got the video i sent it to him i was like hey man like what I... he's like oh shit sorry but um then him and i got shooting the shit for a minute and i was just told him like come on the pod dude so he's gonna try to clear some time up for us too so he'll he'd be another good one yeah i'd like to speak with both of the goalies again and that was fun when we did it last time but the sound got all fucked up so we couldn't use it and yeah then... that's too bad I'm trying to think, uh, yeah, we'll eventually, well, we, we're going to, I would like to talk to everybody at some point. Yeah. Kind of get everybody's view on things and how things are going and the team and how things are moving forward and stuff like that. I would like to talk to all the guys, but yeah, don't get rattles through like, don't get rattled threes fans. I, I think these two games were up in the air regardless of who was behind the bench. So Lots of time here. We're okay. 
Next thing, when's are like if we you? lose to actually never mind. That's gonna be I don't want to put any other team down. Uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, before we move on, we are at home on Tuesday night. We're playing the Blenheim Blades. And <laughs> of course, right yeah. after we yeah, lose our coaching something? staff, we have to play the three best below us. But yeah, and then we have a home and home with them, and then we're there on Sunday. So I remember saying. this happened last year. That's okay. Whatever. Ten, we'll figure Blenheim it got out. The three's number by the end of last year. They're a solid yeah. squad. Mm-hmm. Their first line. They just they just got bigger too. They just signed my buddy. Uh, well, more of an acquaintance, but I know him in passing. He played ball hockey a couple of times. Jack Lewis. Yeah, I've seen that. He's like six three. He's a big kid too. So if they throw him on that first line, Lord have mercy. Yeah. <laughs> They're gonna yeah. be. They are large men. Also, shout out to my buddy Ethan Chittle. Just got traded there. Uh couple weeks back but good for him and he played first line minutes he had a couple points in his first game like sweet way to go chits damn for sure also oh. he's the son of former 73s player pat chittle mm-hmm. and the nephew of like great nephew of don and lenny chittle mm-hmm. uh legendary players like mm-hmm. all time i think they're t- both top five in points and goals so good players mm-hmm. for sure so reminder the threes are at home on Tuesday night, seven o'clock. Yep, it's when the puck drops. Every Tuesday, every, is that December now? At that point, November twenty eighth. Okay, almost so, done. Almost there. Almost but, Christmas yeah, time. Yeah. Oh God, here we go. I know. <laughs> what do you mean? Here we go. I love Christmas. It's a time yeah, to be it's, joyful. It's fun. Maybe Jesus's birthday. Mm-hmm. But um, well, when's, when's not the necessarily. Fires, There's eh? theories vary on that, but. When's the Spitfires? So dumpster fire. They let Jared. Smith no, 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 no. Go. Sorry, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to get people mad now that I'm like, yeah. no, Windsor. They are. Listen, you could see this. The writing was on the wall. People like they were lost all their overagers. Like Shane Wright gone, Matt Maggio gone. Where we gave up expect? too much. I get it's Windsor, fucking, but we gave up too much in the Shane Wright deal. You called it last year. I know. No yeah. You're like, oh, it's not our picks though. Well, it was our. It's going to be now. Um, yeah. And to be honest with you, I don't care. I'll say it flat out. I think Bill is on the hot seat now. Because if now the coaching's gone, now it's who's always next to go? Management. That's what I mean. And it's. Uh, They're going to fire the players. I will say this now a guy like Jared Smith that started in the organization as a video coach. Worked his way up in the coaching staff to the assistant coach. Finally got a shot to be the head coach. You trade every weapon away that he has. You freaking, and then you there's, fire the guy. There's one kid tw- they do have, 20, but, I'll get that. but still, what's one guy, okay? And you fire the guy in 21 games to me is bullshit. Like, it's, it's I just will not, say a positive give the guy a shake, though. A positive reason to go and watch the Spitfires, despite their losing record and how ugly some of the losses have been, double digits. I there's a kid there, and his name is Liam Greentree. Yes, and boy, is he a tree! Mm-hmm. It's like six four, perfect power forward, yeah. like everything you'd ever want. Plays wing, center, and guess what? He's eligible in the NHL draft this year. Projected to go top twenty five. Mm-hmm. How's that? Yeah. I think he's like fourth and he's out there for CHL scoring by rookie. Yeah. He's crazy. Yeah, for sure. But like also, I you said, know, there's... There, uh, you know who else is up there for scoring by a uh, NHL draft eligible prospect in the CHL? Who? Tej Aginla. Oh, Jerome yeah. Jerome Aginla's son. Yeah, I've seen I've Out West, seen... Kelowna Rockets. Actually, I did hear about him. He's very good. Mm-hmm. So is there anybody you think that could be a replacement in Windsor. I wonder what Steve Ott's up to these days. I know he coaches and he was Steve coaching Lewis. NHL. Still is he Lewis. still with them? Still a assistant. Okay. I mean, Jason Spetz is away with another NHL team. Mm-hmm. I wonder what a guy like Kirby Reichel, Warren Reichel's son, mm-hmm. hasn't heard... played pro in a couple of years. 
He's really young. I think he's still, he's only like 30 maybe. But I wonder what a guy like him would have to say. I've heard Wellwood what too. With his career, but. I, I've heard Wellwood too. Eric? A couple of players like that. Um, you want to know what too? And like, I wouldn't rule it out, but Mark Ryder, former Spitfire, oh. are, all, all, already has coaching experience in 100%. the OHL. 100%. Flint Firebird's assistant ran the forward core. That's what um, I mean. So that's how I think you you would throw his name in, in the ring too there. For sure. Um, I don't know, man. They definitely have, they have some options if they play their cards right here, but – they got to understand, like in Windsor fans, and I, I it pains me to say this, but it's going to be tough sledding here for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's... the coaching might soften the blow, but mm-hmm. it's still it's going to be tough sledding for a little bit here. Like who who even is who is the guy who's their interim? Oh, I... wasn't he like a video I've... coach or something? I, I, don't like... I don't know. I know he was. I know he was on staff. Yeah, but. Regardless, good luck, Windsor. Windsor. <laughs> I like people still need to support them. Uh, for sure, like I'm they're not saying don't go to games been for years. It's like just that, it. It could be a painful game if you go and watch them versus London or them versus Guelph. Like, yeah. Speaking of which, London back to their wagon ways. They never are bad, no, eh? They're they're always good. They got Denver Barky and Easton Cowan. Yeah, so good for the Habs or for the Habs. People are going to hate me for that, for the Leafs. Yeah. Uh, Leafs prospect. And you know who has more points than him? He was drafted in the fourth round last year, and I knew he was going to be a steal. Denver Barkey. Philadelphia drafted him. Oh. You know who else is good? Casper Haltinen. He was drafted by, I think it was San Jose. Could be wrong, but he's really good. He's like a he's a goal-scoring machine. One sec, I'm going to look up his stats real quick. But uh, scoring machine. Yeah, he is. He's a his shot is ridiculous. Probably one of the best, if not the best, in the OHL. Casper Haltinen. Yeah. So here's his stat line. In 21 games played, he has 22 points. 15 of those are goals. Really? Yeah. Seven of which are power play goals. He's got a bomb of a one timer. Speaking of bomb, uh, kind of a. Not negative segue, but anyone who's traveling uh, up north out Niagara ways, please be safe. Um, yes. Maybe replan your trip because as of now, the Canadian government is ruling it as an act of terror, uh, which is very unfortunate to see. Um, especially we're wary around this time of the year. Uh, with 9-11 and all prior terror attacks, it gets... It gets scary fast, so mm-hmm. stand vil, vil, yeah, if I can talk, stand vigilant. Uh, don't give in to fear, but at the same point, uh, be aware, you know, uh, and be safe out there and travel safe and travel smart. Yeah, yeah, dude, that was crazy when I seen that. But yeah, I know. Yep, stuff gets hairy quick. Mm-hmm. So, do we go on to NHL? Yeah, sure. So Get this train rolling. Yeah. Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> where where's Kane going? I'm so tired Patty. of seeing the Oh, he's going to Detroit. They he's said he's Detroit. they said he the comeback is and win tonight, and he's like, I'm going. They said that the comeback is soon. Yeah. Well, it, he's running out of time here. What is it? December first or something? You have to have all your UFA signed? Something like that. Yeah. So Oh no, 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 no. I'm sorry. That's RFA. You can oh. sign right up until the trade deadline. Yeah. So, but still, I'm hearing Florida. I'm hearing Dallas. I'm hearing Toronto. I'm hearing the Wings. I'm hearing See, like Florida would just be wrong. You know, like to see him outside of the original six, I feel like it'd be like, ooh. If he's not going to the Wings, where do you think he would go? Buffalo. I think he's. I, I think Dallas. Yeah. But they're good already. Yeah, I know, but he's They'd have to push out one of their roster players they're paying good money to. And I don't even think they have the money, quite frankly. They're saying that he's looking at that he's looking at like Buffalo for possibly a two year deal though. Two years, seven mil, 
Buffalo. I, I think that's ultimately where he goes. I think so, eh? Yeah, that's his hometown. I mean... Uh, but he said he wants to, a team on the... Like, I understand they're on the upswing, but he's not going to have, like, a, a crazy shot. I understand it's his hometown. I'm sorry? Tate well, Thompson, the, we, he, he's he better, out, bro. Out ski right now. Yeah. For how long? It's long term. <sighs> Some my fantasy team. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's fucking long term. I know he's on the IR, but... um. Now you got me. I'm going to look it up now. If it's like a torn ACL, okay. But if it's like, oh, I broke my foot, eh, we could deal with that. He is a very interesting player because he's coming into retirement probably after this next contract. He's already won. Maybe he just realizes, you know what? I'm going to have to take a low-value deal. And go to a team like Dallas. But also, you could have them say, you know what? Forget about it. I want to I wanna play in my hometown, regardless of how good they are. I'm almost done anyway. I've got my rings. What is he? He's got three, right? Yeah. So there you go. And avoid even more of the scrutiny that happened with him about, oh, winning at all costs and the Kyle Beach situation. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Uh I mean, Patty Kane's got some skeletons in his closet for sure. But um, it'll be, he's a, regardless of that, he's a terrific hockey player. Like, one of the best of the 2000s and 2010s, the top five player, like, in that era. One of the greatest puck handlers, in my opinion, probably number two uh, to a certain number one, three on the wings. But So they're saying Thompson's going to be out at least a minimum of a month if not okay. longer. Yeah, see, we could deal with that. If it was like four months. He um, got hit on the on the wrist with a shot. Ooh. You know, sometimes the guys come back stronger from that. Mm-hmm. We've seen that happen. I think Bertuzzi had that happen. Hurt his yeah. wrist, and next year he put up his point per game. So, Dude, the other thing what I was thinking about a lot, too, is the Oilers right now, man. <laughs> oh, oh, what do you like? What do? You do? Oh, is it time for a trade? Are we firing frickin' How about Kenny we Holland? relegate them to the ECHL? Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> Did you see McDavid's face on the bench tonight? Yep. Stevie, why work your magic? Connor McDavid, like, what do you what do you do if you're him? Do you think he's do you think he's gonna eventually just be like, get me the fuck out of Edmonton? Watch this. There's gonna be like a crazy thing happen. Like breaking news terminates his contract, becomes a UFA. Then it's a free agent frenzy. Half the teams trade players away so they can just afford them. It's All crazy. Right. Mayhem. <laughs> nah. Uh, but, I mean, he's gone at the end of this contract, I think. Leon's done this year. Yeah, and you notice he hasn't listen, resigned or anything. So Listen, watch what Stevie Y is going to do. Oh, <laughs> He's going to say, at the trade deadline, here, Kenny, take one of our bad deals. Take maybe a conditional first and take a really good prospect because Edmonton's hands are tied. Other teams are going to have the leverage. Leon wants out. Then guess what? Connor, this summer, maybe he does go for a buyout option. Yeah. I could just. I mean, what, is it, what does he have? He's three more years? Something like that. 12, two, five, three more two years. Two at least. Okay. Leon's. And then Detroit gets the exclusive signing rights. And then guess what? Guess who's going to want to go join his buddy again? <laughs> da, da, da. And yeah. then our top six in a few years looks like Leon Dreisville, him. I don't want to sound Green. like Leafs fans, though, and everybody's going there. So I, that's just... <laughs> I know. Guess what, everyone? This is hypothetical. This is me thinking through the wings lens glasses. Yes. <laughs> Where do I think Connor McDavid goes at the end of his contract? Carolina. Mm-hmm. They're set up good for the future and good for the now. Same with Dallas. Those are the well, two teams. Hey, what about LA? Imagine him and LA. Uh, I get what you're going for here. That'd be cool. I mean, <laughs> LA's good. They're gross. Yeah. They kind of run the Pacific right now. That's what I mean. But it just well, he, them in he, Vegas. But. Maybe he'd want to just play somewhere where it's warm. 
after being out there all the time? I would. Actually. If I was him and I'm getting traded or I'm going somewhere, I'm going somewhere where it's warm. I'm going to Vegas or I'm going to like Dallas, baby, Florida or Dallas or like somewhere. Arizona. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Arizona. They're not bad. They're not bad. They're, They're not. Good. They're actually playing pretty good lately. Yeah. But um, Clayton Keller, underrated pick. I would Probably say, the most underrated. I would say if I'm Connor or I'm Leon, run. 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 Kenny Holland is going to make that place <laughs> ugly real quick. Wait till oh. you watch him re-sign your fourth line center, Sam Gagne, for the next five years at five mil. Oh, it's so bad. The Connor looks like he's age fucking seven years, ten years. It's the Austin Matthews effect. He's probably out hacking darts in between freaking. <laughs> he's pulling the Gila Fleur. Yeah, just going, what am I doing here, man? Yeah. <laughs> Man, the Oilers, what they could have been. They could have had Jordan Eberle, Taylor Hall, Neil Yakupov. Look how many first-round pick or look how many top draft picks they've had. First overall. Yeah. McDavid Hall. Hall. Nugent Hopkins. Eberle was like fourth. And then who, who else was? Oh, shoot. There was another person. What was Leon? Was he like five? Was it Yakupov? Yakupov. That's four. Nail. I forgot. It. He's the biggest bust ever. Yeah. I mean, he's good still, in Russia now, but. It's still, that's crazy, man. Do better. Yeah. Uh, Willie Styles. He was he's good. He was fucking. He's gotten a blank check. Yeah. Well, yeah. He's like, what, 17 game point streak right now? I think he's got a point in every single game this season. It's crazy. Looks like a tool out there because of all his not, hair. I not, hate I hate not, those guys who wear yeah. their helmet like. Not one, but two overtime winners for him during the uh, trip Excuse overseas. Me. There, he also was on like some show while he was there, and a like muscle shirt, like just chilling, like he was. <laughs> it was like the Willie tour there. Everybody like, was there like, waiting for Ooh, him. He's so muscular. Sure. Yeah. So am I. But uh, they should see like a guy like uh, Sean McMorrow. Yeah, yeah that is a large man. Yeah, he's Jack too. But uh, what do you mean two? Nylander ain't. No, I know. No, but Willie's freaking. I wonder how long this streak can go. Um, probably a very long time. Like he, he's starting. People are starting to realize that. What do you think he's <laughs> well, gonna get? Not starting to realize, but how much a year? Do I think he stays with the Leafs? Or... Just how, how much a year do you think he's probably he ballpark? Be... If he's staying with the Leafs, it's gonna have to take sub ten. I was gonna say ten point five, but I, he'll probably get around ten, especially with the cap going up. Yeah, I think that's an accurate number. If another team wants him, maybe even pushing eleven. If someone wants him bad enough. Like the craziest thing is they. I don't know why they don't like. I understand they want guaranteed money, guaranteed money, but if they all just took like a little bit of a deal, like just a little bit of a deal, they would be able to bring in like another guy or two. Like, <laughs> so, you know, I just, problem. I don't get it. You've already made all this money. That's great. You've made all this money, but here's the thing. How many cups have you won? So if you all take a little bit of a deal to get more money for the cap to bring in, do you could, could be a goalie. Yeah, I'll, let me ask Could you be this. Another defenseman. Do you th- do you like a salary cap NHL? Yes and no. See, because the Wings were really good when there was no salary that's cap. That's what I mean. But that's why I say yes and no. I say yes because if you, because it's always the, fun when you have a blank check and you can just do whatever you want and yeah, and, and then you, you sign cups. So that's great. I say like. So that that would be for my no, right? That would be for no salary cap. Yeah. I'm for the salary cap when it comes to, I think sometimes, well, one, it allows everything to be a little more like even when it comes to yeah. guys going places. But it's also cool to see guys play in different places that you wouldn't normally think you would see them play. Like, give me an example. Um, Let me see. Who was a weird one for me where I think he still looks weird in... And as you know, like, okay, 
I'm, I fucking want to punch myself in the dick for this one. Like, it's weird seeing Bert in a Leafs uniform. It was weird seeing him in Boston. It was weird. I don't know. It was just. There have been rumors that he was going to be traded to the Leafs for like a few years. I know, but it's weird so, now that it's actually happened and he's there. You, you know what's a weird one for me? Nino Niederreiter in a Winnipeg uniform. Yeah, true. That one I was like, weird. what? Because he was on the Canes and the Wild and the, was it the Islanders? Yeah. Yeah, for like so long. And I was like. What about huh? Quick too? The Jonathan Quick too? It's weird I, too. I know. Seen him in, where is he now? Isn't he with the Rangers now? Yeah, you would, he, you're right. He is he's having a good year. So yeah, he is having a good. He had a good, having really a good year in Vegas too, didn't he? When he went, I don't even think he played. Uh, he might have played oh, like yeah. three games. Oh yeah, where did he go? Something. It was Vegas. Okay, he just was on their bench for like the entire playoffs. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, well, didn't really need him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Aiden Hill stood <laughs> on his head. Yeah. But can we talk? I want to talk about one player. I know it's not on our list of. Uh, things to discuss here though one player and i'm so happy i took him in my fantasy league but one guy is really coming out of a shell people are starting to appreciate him for the goal scoring dynamo he is kyle connor yeah i always choose him for points so many goals he's gonna score 50 plus this year finally i think he's been right hanging around 40 something for a long time guess where he's from where? Michigan. Boom. So you're Guess what high. university he went to? Let me guess. Michigan? Yep. Guess whose line he played on? Dylan Arkin? Yep. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. Well, we can't get everybody here. We still have a salary. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, forget forget about uh, the McDavid and Dreisaitl thing because I don't think either of them are ever going to be wings. No. That's my opinion, honest. I think Kyle Connor will be. I'm quite confident in that one. Winnipeg's, what are they, right around 500? And sometimes, too, more often than not, but a lot of the times, too, the guys do like to play for their hometown team at least once. Like, it's always a dream to play Imagine for Imagine a line team. of him, Larkin, and Debrinkit, the that'd Michigan nice. boys. Nice. Hey, who's that guy who scored through his legs for his first NHL goal? The guy who the wings passed on, and I screamed at my TV for five minutes because they did. Zach Benson. Okay, yeah, that was nasty. Yeah, guess what? Our guy's under a point per game in the WHL, Nate Danielson. Meanwhile, we got Zach Benson going between the legs on Buffalo. Do you think if you score a goal like that on your first NHL goal, you think they're going to come after you a little bit? (laughs) No, I think you're gross. Yeah, I mean, the other team might come after you. The other team? Yeah. I think they'll respect you. Honestly. Yeah, well, maybe, yeah. It's not really that old man's NHL where it's like, get out of here. Like they'll appreciate it. they'll be like, that was that was a good move, man. Like you could even see the players on the ice were like oh. I'd be like, Yeah, nice shot, you dink. Could be what I'd be saying. <laughs> yeah, but you're also like if you're in the NHL right now, you'd be thinking about retirement. Oh yeah, I'd be done so already at thirty eighty, kidding me? Hey, Jumbo played pretty old. Look yeah. at Gordy Howe. What was he like? Fifty three. Yeah, I I was actually at the game that when Gordy played for the Vipers, I was at that game. Actually, yeah, that's awesome. My that dad. Awesome. There's so many cool stories like that. My dad went to uh, Guy Lafleur's last game as a Montreal Canadian in Detroit. Wow. Got that's to watch crazy. him play his his childhood idol. He wore ten and he wore Habs colors his whole life. So, yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, Zach Benson, nice goal. Yeah, he's he's going to be a very good mm. first line center for them in the future. They'll probably push Thompson to the wing, I'd imagine, especially with his heavy shot. He's not as fast as Benson too. Benson can drive play. That's the thing. Very good, very good vision on the ice. Well, you can even see as he's leading up to the goal, he drops down low away from coverage. Mm. Like he's not hunting for the puck. He sees his team's got possession. Boom, nose for the net, goes straight there, grabs it between the legs, and it was bar down, too. Oh, yeah, like, it was a nice one. Right in the net. But, uh, yeah, what, what else you got? Well, last player? thing, sucks to kind of end on a shitty note, but Milan Lucic was arrested on Friday Milan. for... 
what they what did they call it? Domestic. He's getting arraigned for assault. Yes. Domestic assault of yeah. a spouse. Yeah. So apparently he grabbed he, her by the hair and yes, socked her one. I guess he tried. Well, it said he tried to choke her. He probably did a lot of things. So, He's a very guess, not nice person. And this is just from reading articles when they showed up. He was drunk. He was obviously intoxicated. Um, he's been known to get down too, or likes likes to get down. So he likes to party, which is fine. But like, come on, man. Like, especially don't guys that like you got the world by the balls, you know, kind of. Don't, don't you made don't all this money, a woman. Period. Yeah, I know, but like, that's what I mean. But you've made all this money. You've won a cup. You're on the back nine of your career. Like you should be coasting out here. You're back playing for the team that drafted you. Like you know what I mean? You had everything going right, and then you do something stupid like that. So they're saying that if he is convicted, could be up to two and a half years in prison and a five a five thousand dollar fine. Not sure about the fine, but whatever. But still, though, he could be jailed for two and a half years, man. That's deep. He's not a very, uh, well, I'll never forget. I think it was 2014. Montreal eliminates them. Mm-hmm. And he shakes, I think it was a couple of guys' hands. I think it was Dale Weiss. Yeah. Remember him? Yeah. He grabs him and he's like threatening them all in the lineup. Like, buddy, you just lost. Be a man, yeah. shake your hands, and get out. I hope Milan Lucic doesn't live anywhere near me because yeah. I'm afraid of the guy. We seen <laughs> him play last year. Yeah, yeah, that's right. About three shifts, but we seen him play. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there you um, go away. But yeah, so I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens there. We'll have to like keep yeah. an eye on it, and uh, yep, obviously. But uh, for sure, anything else that you would like to touch on? No, that's all. Just uh, we thank you all for your patience with us and yeah. all of our loyal listeners. You're you're good people. Uh, I've met a lot of you, and a lot of you know me personally, and I'm very proud to represent Hattrick Hockey and the Essex 73s organization mm-hmm. as a whole. And, uh, yeah, just, when, just thankful when for all you guys. you see us and stuff, yeah, say hi. For sure. What's up? We're friendly hey. people. Yeah. We're not going to be like, <laughs> Say hi. Yeah. Get away from, I'm going to pull them all on Luchich on you, all right? Yeah. We're good. Get off my lawn. <laughs> like, something, like something like that. It's like, but, uh, all right. So, like I said earlier in the, the way episode, you did that. Yeah, like, get off my- <laughs> we're going to try to, uh, like I said, we're going to try to get some of the boys on here, some of the threes yep. on here. So, I'm going to try sure. to start lining up some interviews for us. So, look ahead for that. Until next time. And my buddy Tristan. Yes, sir. We're signing out of here. See us. Have a good one.